हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई कुसुम चौधरी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन स्कूल ऑफ आर्किटेक्चर कलगोटिया यूनिवर्सिटी सो टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट योर नेक्स्ट मॉड्यूल व्हिच इज एम फोर्टीन आर सी सी रेनफोर्स सीमेंट कंक्रीट सो इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल कवर अबाउट द टूल्स ब्रिक मेसनरी टूल्स सो लेट स्टार्ट विद टूडे लेक्चर in this slide here are given five objective of this current module first one is illustrate reinforced cement concrete construction techniques second one is apply reinforced cement concrete structure analysis to a residence third one is design institutional building for children with rcc uh, fourth one is illustrate architectural historical concept from renaissance period to rococo period and the last uh, one is apply basic concept of soil mechanics so uh, in this slide we will talk about the brick masonry what is mean by the brick masonry basically the art of construction in bricks that is known as the brick masonry brick are laid with cement or these can be laid with lime mortar if we will talk about the low cost and in ordinary way so we can use the mud mortar as well brick masonry laid with cement mortar is stronger and more durable than that laid with lime mortar but lime mortar is very commonly used due to its low cost so uh, our motive of today lecture is uh, majorly cover and discuss about the tools we which used in uh, for the brick masonry if you want to build with brick concrete and stone you will need the right the right masonry tool there are dozen of handy tools in the market including trowels chuck lines chisels hammer square and wheel barrows so uh, these are the some uh, types of tools and we will discuss about the in upcoming slide about the types of tools so here you can see these two images they are showing the uh, during the uh, brick masonry and laying the cement mortar so let's start with the uh, first masonry tool uh, which is uh, trolls the use of this triangular shape tool to pick up mortar from a board to place and spread the mortar into a brick or set of bricks to secure a brick into the mortar by tapping a size vary and can reach up to 11 inches in length and 8 inches in width so in this image you can see the uh, brick laying troll here are given some different different parts this is known as the heel this part is known as the toe this is the handle this is the ferrule shank and this is known as the blade so uh, this is the very uh, commonly used uh, tool for the brick masonry so in this slide here you can see the uh, the method of laying of mortar during the brick masonry or uh, construction of uh, wall in brick uh, in first image you can see laying of mortar using trowel uh, trowel so, so second one is laying of mortar using trowel uh, you can see by the use of the troll uh, in the second image there are given different shape and designs of troll used worldwide so these are the some different types of troll which are based on the different different shape and sizes and uh, these are used according to uh, need so uh, these are the some different different types of troll okay now uh, here you can see types of bring brick laying tools first one is as i mentioned in previous slide brick troll second one is brick hammer third is bluster chisel pointing troll uh, split level and tape measures so uh, when you are laying brick it is important that you have the proper tools for the job if you want everything to turn out as well as it possibly can then you are going to need quality tool that will make things easier a brick trowel should be among the very first purchase that you make 
it is perhaps the most uh, essential tool for the entire process of bricklaying so these are the some uh, other types of bricklaying tool but uh, this is very common commonly used uh, tool so in detail we will discuss uh, all these types of detail in upcoming slide next a uh, uh, brick masonry tool is chisel so uh, here you can see in this images the different types of chisel second uh, in the second image uh, they are using another types of chisel in the third this is uh, are another type of chisel so uh, basically a chisel is used to cut bricks into specific sizes also called a bluster or brick set the brick chisel is used to make smooth cut on brick for using the in uh, brick construction or brick masonry or uh, during the any wall construction so rough cutting of brick is usually done with a brick hammer which has a chisel uh, like blade opposite the face of the hammer so these are the some types of the chisel which are used for cutting the uh, brick edge during the construction now it is also um, very important tool and as well commonly used tool in uh, brick masonry so this is uh, the hammer basically they are used to split hard bricks uh, a masonry hammer has a square face on one end for breaking as you can see in this image this face has the square base and the another face has sharp edge on the other face for the cutting of the brick edge so these types of hammer used during the brick masonry for the brick split into two parts so this is the this is known as they called the hammer so in this slide here you can see the some example of using hammer here you can see in the first image double headed first and the second this is known as the double headed scutch hammer which are using for the chiseling the surface of the brick and in the second image you can see the scutch chisel which is the separate tool and hammer is the uh, another tool and here you can see the brick and this uh, part is known as the scutch comb so these are the separate uh, tool and here you can see the uh, a single tool with the combined of the scutch chisel so we can use uh, hammer with uh, both method for chiseling the brick now we comes on the next masonry tool which is jointer so here you can see in two images the type different types of jointer basically the masonry construction require tooling process which help in waterproofing the joints and also to to beautify the construction that's why we need the jointer a jointer is used to make mortar joints there are three types of jointer shapes like flat pointed and rounded so that's why we need the jointer here you can see the application of jointer in this image uh, and Uh, here you can see again uh, the application and use of the uh, jointer during the um, brick masonry a jointer in masonry construction is a tool in the form of striking iron or a striking tool used to finish the vertical or as well as horizontal mortar joints so these are the some different types of jointer and these used in brick masonry according to uh, need and according to aesthetical purpose according to vertical or as well as horizontal joints so that's why we need the jointer tool in the brick masonry next masonry tool is square the mason square is an instrument used to ensure that two perpendicular surfaces that two perpendicular as you can see the this is the first and this is the second these are the two perpendicular uh, surfaces are at right angle with each other so that's why it is useful tool to carry around to get a standard reference of 90 degree with which to verify the accuracy of corner 
Square are used when constructing and measuring right angle and four corner layouts and these are made of metal for durability. As you can see in this image, this is the uh, known as the mason square. Now we have our next masonry uh, tool is mason level. A mason level is used when, when establishing vertical or plumb lines and horizontal or level line. They are typically uh, made of wood, metal or a combination of both. They come equipped with either single or double wires. The latter is preferable by more machine since they can be used for both horizontal and vertical measurement. For example, uh, you can see in this image the live example of uh, mason level by the using of a mason during the construction of wall. So these are the images of mason level. Next masonry tool is plumb bob. A plumb bob or a plummet is a weight usually with a pointed tip. It is uh, have some weight of itself or uh, and uh, at the bottom it have tip as you can see in this uh, um, image and that is suspend from a string and it have a another uh, part is string uh, and used as a vertical reference line here you can see in this image this is the uh, string and uh, it is using for to check the vertically uh, verticality of a wall it is essential the vertical equivalent of a water level so that's why we use the plumb bob to check the verticality of a wall next we have straight edge as it is clear by its name uh, it is used for the uh, straight or you can say for the level leveling the wall at the end of the construction of wall we used to uh, cement plaster and then we need to for leveling and the plane of the surface by using of the straight as straight as act as extension to mesh level they are used when levels are shorter than the area that need to be measured or assessed the middle section of the top of the straight as must be horizontally parallel to the bottom section so uh, these two range can be vary from 1 by 1 8 inch to 1 by 1 and half inches they can be as long as 16 feet so uh, these uh, straight as um, member length can be vary these can be uh, in shorter uh, length and these can be as long as 16 feet uh, so that's why uh, we use the these type of masonry tools in the construction so uh, at the end of the lecture now we comes on the conclusion so i would like to conclude uh, brick masonry tools play important role in brick masonry or other construction work with the help of different types of tool we can construct any type of structure like brick wall stone wall garden wall and so on there are some other types of tool which is used during the construction like measuring work box which is uh, usually used for the measurement of cement concrete and sand uh, aggregate during the mixing of uh, material next uh, we have the tilting or null tint tilting drum uh, for the cement concrete mixing and uh, we have uh, another um, tool is head pan which is used for transport the mixed material from one place to another place next we have vibrator uh, which is used for the uh, vibrating the uh, material after the placing the cement concrete we use the vibrator to settle more settle the uh, material uh, next we have sand screening machine and globes and uh, uh, safety glass and the helmet for the safety and security purpose of the worker so these were the some uh, other types of tool which is used for um, during the construction purpose now we have four questions related to this uh, lecture question uh, one is what are the different types of tool 
used for brick masonry. Question number two is explain different types of troll with appropriate sketches. Question number third is what is difference between plumb bob and the mason level. Question number four, what are the different types of jointer masonry used for brick masonry explained with suitable sketches. So you have to solve all these questions. So at the end of this lecture, here are given uh, some references related to this lecture. So you can use these references uh, for more detail about the brick masonry tools. Now I would like to thanks everyone for watching this video.